Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Naya slivers, and we are up against. Ha ha ha! Let's see what he's doing. Let's see if he wants to play fast or play slow today. You know. Oh man, what a hand! What a hand! What a hand! Do we have here? Uh, well, I guess I'll keep. It's just gonna be slow as hell. I don't think I can toss this back. Our mana is going to be perfect. It's just going to take some time. But if this is elves, we don't have time. Um, that helps a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to play this first. We're going to Ash Barons for a forest unless we draw one. Um, get set up that way. Did I skip through my entire turn? Because actually, I think I'm going to go... I could go Plated, next turn Ash Barons, put down the Forest, play Viverlint. Does it really matter? Now nah, we'll just put down Double. We'll keep him in the blind for now. Is this the same deck that I saw the other day? This feels like the same deck. I think this is Elves, though. This, I, think, I don't think the other deck was playing with Line of War, were they? Alright, grab our Forest. Plated. Sure. Go ahead. We'll start building up our defense. We'll start building up theirs. They've already got a good start, though. It's going to be difficult. Human Druid. Defender. Add X mana in any combination where X is a number of... Is this the Defender deck? I don't know what's happening. A lot of people are doing these weird green things now, you know? I don't really know what's going on with this Curian Ranger. So this tells me just elves, but I don't get what this defender play is. Pop out one more creature. Drawbridge. Interesting. I'm concerned. A thriving Heath, huh? Interesting indeed. Well, I'm going to play... I think I want more green than not, and there's a car horn going off outside i'm gonna put down predatory and we're gonna hope for the best next turn we can drop a hunter and clear out some of their guys which will be very nice if we can draw an up up uh, untapped land that'd be even better because then we can go muscle into a hunter and really just decimate so there's more of those And they can just give everything haste. Make a ton of mana. We need them to fizzle a little bit. That's good. Two cards left in hand for them. Alright, cool. So. Yeah, let's start getting rid of some of their stuff. We're just going to start targeting all these guardians, I guess. Can't kill the drawbridge yet. What's this one do? Okay. Guardian. Guardian. That's just that. I want to kill that, but I guess we'll go ahead and take out the Curian Ranger, I think is the best bet here. If they fizzled out, I think we can really overwhelm them now. Yep, they have haste. Like, what are you going to do with that, though? Just make a bunch of mana right now? You got pumps? Interesting. Look at how much mana they're generating. That's insane. They got nine right now. I don't think you can see it, actually. You can't. They got nine mana with all that. I don't think they realize. Maybe they think if they, t they tap, they can't, they're not going to be able to block. But that is not how it works. You are still going to be needing to block or not wait hmm 
Why? Why does that not work? Why does that not work? Is that a bug? Someone let me know in the comments. That should work still. Who cares if they tap? They have to block. It'll untap and they have to block, right? Did I not click something right? Did I not provoke correctly? That can't be right. They're not able to pop off, which is good, but like... This, don't, this doesn't make sense. Interesting. Call uh, green on this one. And... Cancel. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go Lord. What? It, I don't understand that. I really don't. Why does that not... Make them block? Do I not know something about provoke that I should? Did I accidentally not say yes? I'm pretty sure I did say yes. Let's see. I don't know what happened last turn, but I'm really lost right now as to why that just went down like that. They gain haste. I don't see anything that would tell me otherwise here. But, like, if they tap out to get around Provoke again, like, they're just gonna die. <laughs> I'm really confused. I'm gonna have to look up the ruling on Provoke. Like, is there some other detail I'm missing here? Like, what's triggering them not to block? I don't think haste would do that. So they're making some blocks now. Because they have to. They're going to take eight. I'm really lost as to why provoke isn't working. I'm sorry if uh, the answer is obvious or something, but I'm not really sure. Mm, now it looks like it's coming into play. Did I just say no? No, something's going on here. That is really bizarre. I'm looking it up. Rulings. If the provoke creature becomes tapped before the declare blocker step, it won't be able to block. Interesting. Okay, so I didn't know that. So if you can tap your... I didn't know that. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. So if you can tap your creatures before the block step, then they can't do the... They can't force the block. But if they're tapped right now, it'll untap them. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that that works like that, because it, we can make them untap, typically. But I guess once you're in, it just comes down to the combat phase. So once you're in the attack phase, if you can, uh, when the trigger stacks, yeah, reap in the grave. Okay, so they're playing reap in the graves. To try to get some more card draw. Interesting. Alright, I get it now. It's weird. i just never seen that happen before. So sorry about my confusion, but that is bizarre. Uh, can they just go ham right now? I think they can go ham. Uh, and if they can, good for them. There really wasn't much else we could do. Besides depending on their mistake. They can just keep adding blue. Tap on tap. I'm, just, I'm looking for the circle here. To make sure they can pull it off. Transmute. 
Search your library for a card of the same. Reveal it, put it into your hand. Blood right, Invoker. I'm playing for more information right now. They have the win, it looks like. Target player loses three life, you gain three life. Alright, so that's their that's their end game here. They can just make a bunch of mana. Okay. We will go to the next game. That is a very interesting thing with Provoke. Um, so I guess Provoke's pretty dang bad here. So could go blade back in place of it. We could go Pyroblast to destroy their enchantment. We could go Swift Response, because all their stuff is tapity tap tap tap. Um Relic. They do have the Reap in the Graves. I just don't know how relevant Relic is besides that. Pay 8 for that. Pyroblast won't kill their end game. I guess I'm just going to go for the late game and try to destroy their enchantment. Striking. Actually, striking might be pretty good here. Plated seems not as good. Nor Sentinel. Keep the gem hides. Drop a winding. Let's try like that. It's bizarre. I'm really hung up on that provoke thing. That is an interesting detail that I was not aware of. Let me see if there's any other stuff that I wasn't aware of. There's no requirement for the provoke creature to be tapped or to be able to block. You can choose to force. If a creature is provoked, and if the provoked creature becomes tapped before the declare blocker stepped, it won't be able to block. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Play first. Let's see what we can do. Already a rough start, although it would be a great start if we just had one more land, but we all know that we cannot chance it. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. We'll drop a gem hide. But we don't have a lot of power here to get through the defenders yet. So maybe we can get some early damage in with like a double double poisonous, but still gonna be a little tough. Let's see what they keep. Alright. We're going to go Viverlins. And we'll go gem hide into our other Viverlins. Unless we get something spicier. No turn one elf. That is great news. Let's get down that double poisonous quick before they can really start setting up. Plated's going to help with their 1-1s, one -one, so they can't have very efficient blocks. we got to lead the Stampede. Beautiful. I might even... Hmm. I might even... Uh, I'm, d I'm debating on if I want to play out a lead the Stampede here this turn. I think I just need to get in for 4. Four poisonous is good. I think we keeping the pressure on early is going to be more beneficial for us. We need to refill soon, but who knows? Maybe next turn we can get a land and just play it out with our lands. All right, defender for each creature with defender. All right, so I can pop off for three mana currently. You just tap this guy for two. Reach Death Touch. Oh, you dirty boy. That's a problem. Hmm. Let's lead. Try to find something good here. Uh, we'll tap one of these because now I don't want to necessarily attack in with either one of those. Boom. All right. Any order on those? 
Um, swing in for four. They go to eight. Or I just try to go way wider. They just have all the mana though right now, which sucks. Reach death touch. Nah, it doesn't make sense. I, I want to be able to kill this guy first, so let's go ahead and just play out our stuff for a turn. Try to just go around them, go wide. Just try to get in for a big lethal attack if they can't go off too much here. But they got plenty of mana and they got three cards, so three mana for a tap on this, tap this, tap this, three more mana, six mana, seven, winding way. Ooh, that's ugly. Okay. Four cards entered. That's a good hit. All right, Guardian, Elvish Mystic, lead the Stampede. Oh my gosh, they've got everything. That's not good. Cool deck. It's cool. It's cool uh, Defender deck. Leading first. I think they should have played more creatures first that can produce more mana for them, right? Alright, so what did they what did they actually play here? Nothing? They just got rid of the lead? They got rid of Curian Ranger. Cause they already tapped this haste thing, so now they can't give haste to these guys and keep comboing off. Wouldn't have been better for them to play these guys out first. Okay, they can untap that. Alright, I guess they can still go off. They got lucky with that Curian Ranger though. I feel like that was a risk. Four blockers. It's too bad this is not something we can destroy. But we can destroy their crashing drawbridge. Question is, do we want to get in now? I think we do. They block four, they take eight. We gleeful their drawbridge. I think that's good enough. Swing out. Sorry, they don't take eight. I meant they go to eight poisonous. Apologies for the confusion. But they'll go to eight poisonous because they can only block four. Or they can block more. I forgot about the tippity tap. Always forgetting about the tippity tap. Kill off one of my poisonous. Fine. Fine. You're going to lose a lot here, though. This is a really bad situation for them, I feel like. They played one of these guys. Okay. They're still going to take four poisonous. So they'll go to eight poisonous. Kill him. Take your turn. I just don't want any more haste crap, you know? They've got enough mana as it is. Is it my downfall to not save that? I hope not. Can you go empty-handed? No. Five blockers. Well, we're just going to attack in and get rid of their leaf collar, basically, because they're forced to block here. So we're just whittling them down. They, they can block these all day, but we're just getting rid of creatures as we can. As long as they don't get a refill, I think we're still in pretty good shape. Pass to them. 
We're getting to a point where we need some more power, though. That's for sure. Ah, uh, they got the blue. Fudge. That sucks. But they don't have a Kyrian Ranger. Can they go off from here? They might be able to. Transmute. I think they can. They transmute for the guy now. Fudge, man. Could I have played this differently? Reaping the Graves. Turn a bunch of stuff. All right. They're getting there. Good for them. Mm. How could I have sideboard differently? I wonder. Let me get these back. There's nothing I can do. I'm just going to pass through turn and see. I don't know if there's a way they could fizzle from here. Sorry if, if they can't. I apologize. There's the enchanted creature that we were looking for. Um, that's the thing we needed to kill, really. Would have been tough, though, with them jam generating all this mana. So, yeah, they got the kill on us at this point. Transmute. They go find their guy. Cool match. I, I don't know. For game one threw me off, and uh, I've, I haven't played this specific defender combo yet. I, th I think I've played other defender combos, but not uh, specifically this one. So, uh, very interesting. But, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe. we got more Slivers coming up the rest of the week, Wednesday and Friday. we got some more Doom Eternal on Tuesday and Thursday. So stay tuned for those. And I'll go ahead and just save this guy some time. He definitely won. So there you go. Let's see what our card would have been. Muscle, planes. Yeah, it would have been tough. So thank you very much for watching. And tune in next time, and we'll see you then.